I'm Grace Langen. I'm a senior from Lincoln High School. You and this is titled Mostly. Borderline personality disorder. I'm surprised that actually made it out of my mouth. It usually gets stuck between probably dad and definitely sister. I grew up with her. I saw her get claustrophobic in her own body, sick with catastrophe, and she taught me everything. Mostly who not to be, some what not to do. My sister and I can both agree that our mom is the strongest woman alive. Since the divorce, that is, we can only love a disorder so much. I bet I can outlove them both, though. I forced an underline, under borderline, bolding word after essay, after experiment, trying to make a science of my sister while she's in a Texas rehab center. Sober since what, 17? Mom likes to pretend we're still okay, and when I said, Mom, I might want to be dead someday, she heard Allison, my sister, and for good reason, since depression and borderline can wear each other's clothes. Exactly like depression, a substance abuse disorder fits beautifully into the same outfits, steals them just like sisters do. Allison's comorbidities have drawn me into my coexisting truths, like coexisting disorders. I know I can love her so deeply while also knowing that all of the headlines of my trauma have her name in them. Our similarities keep me stuck in a pattern. I always know what mistakes I make before I'm the one making them. We both love to relive pasts, to taste expired love, choosing men to fix, not to be cliche. I try to make them remind me of the day we found out about Allie, where I think, oh, okay, let me start overanalyzing and diagnosing now. Allison's diagnosis was an explanation, an affirmation, not an epiphany. It was, oh, okay. But when, we found out how, when I found out how much we paid for her to get treatment, I thought college and me, and maybe that's selfish, but I had to be for the months that she was away. And the months I loved a boy just like her, and in between then and now when I realized, so am I, just like her. I don't look like Allie, but I sound like her. She's about five foot, best foot forward, but she has never found words the same way, reaching through addiction. I hear her in my own voice specifically saying it wasn't my fault, if anything, she is persistent and our alike mannerisms have made the differences unnoticeable, I'm not sure whose fault it's supposed to be. Partially borderline personality. If it was a living thing, it would be 10 foot taller, still swallowing those words in Allie's shadows, but even still, she pushes through disorder in order to be heard, and she taught me everything, mostly who not to be. <laughs>